But I just thought that was really strange. And she said, oh, it's, you know, a bit of a strange message for you here, but I decorated that cup, I think. Hi, welcome to the video. I'm Mike Falco's Flips. I'm a part-time reseller based in Northwest England. Today we have 12, maybe 13 items going out that have sold on eBay over the weekend. Amongst the sales, we've got one McDonald's toy bundle. Wait just a moment and I'll show you that in a second. It's gone for more than I thought it would and we've got lots more of the same. So if they all go for anything like that, I think we might make our money back and into the profit just on this particular type. And then once we pick the items, I've got a little bundle of stuff that I've purchased off a local reseller to me, Andy. Thanks, Andy, if you're watching. I don't think he does watch, but thank you if you are. He did me a good deal on the games, and it was on a week where I found very little to resell, so definitely appreciated. So let's pick the few items that are in here, and then we'll go down to the sheds and get the stuff from out of there. We've got these three guys here, which I have decided to keep. They are from the McDonald's bundle. I did a video very recently. If you've not seen it, go and check it out. I picked up all of these, these, and a bit more because I've I've now listed about three quarters, I reckon, of everything. I'll show you what I've still got to list in a moment. And also a random one here, but does anybody know what this sword is? Now, I'll put a photograph on because I'm not going to get a very good close-up of this with this camera. But I'll put a photograph on the screen. If anybody knows what this is from... Please let me know because I've tried Google image searching it, searching it on eBay, searching all sorts of things. I thought it was something to do with He-Man, but I don't think it is. And I thought Power Rangers, but I don't think it's Power Rangers either, but I could be wrong. There is nothing on it. There's no like writing, date, or anything else on it. If anybody knows what this is, please let me know. Really help me out. I've got it drafted, ready to list, but I don't know how to list it. So first is this, The Godfather 2 in a godfather one case i can't remember where i picked this up i think it was a boot sale though maybe part of a bundle or something didn't realize until afterwards that it was actually godfather 2 in a godfather one case i think godfather one does go a little bit better so but whatever seven quid i made it very 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 clear on the listing what they were getting so hopefully they have read it so seven pounds free postage not a whole lot let's see where it is 360 games are here So next is these manga books host club 30 pounds plus postage on these just recently sold another set as well i think it was bleach that what they went for about the same price as well and most of these are gone still have this set i thought i'd sold that set actually but nope mustn't have done this is the set i've just sold this is one that's worth good money by itself and I think that is it. I think that's all we have now. Next is this Little Life backpack, £5.99 plus postage. I got two of these at the same time at a boot sale. They're in good condition. They don't have like names written inside them or anything like that. These, when I find them, are like a bread and butter type thing. They never go for a lot, but they do always sell fairly quickly. And it's in box S, which is just down there. And while in here, there's a little bit of space. I've got a few things that I've photographed recently right here. So I may as well stick them in. Finally got these Bagurgan listed. Don't know if anybody, the eagle eye amongst you may have realized they were sat on a box here for many, many months. There were reasons for that. <laughs> Basically, a couple of them weren't genuine, I don't think, but I've had a good look into them. Any that were no good, I've got rid. And the rest I've just listed. Listed quite high actually, 85 quid, and I've had quite a few watches on it already. So, don't know, probably won't go for quite that much. But I think there's a couple of rarer ones in here. If you look at these things online, the single ones, there's some single ones out there that go for surprisingly large amounts that might be worth looking into. Next is this, I got this from a charity shop a few months back for about three or four pounds. I think it's from Harry Potter, some kind of spider from Harry Potter. And it is in box E, which is just here. 
there it is. It's quite a big thing, really. I'll just show you. Sorry for anyone who might have arachnophobia out there. It's quite a realistic looking thing as well. I think. It's from 2002. So, vintage at this stage. Yeah, somebody in Europe has bought this. They were really pleased. They said, I've been looking for one of these for a while and they don't very often come up in Europe, he says. 20 quid plus postage. Not too bad. Nice easy ship on that. Next is this vintage truck. I've got £30 plus postage on this. It's going over to the USA. I did have it up at £39.99 plus postage, but... He's put an offer of 30 in and, and that's good enough for me. I only paid £2.50 for it and it is in box U, which is just here. I got it when I was in the Lake District recently. There's two items that I've sold today that I got from the Lake District. I'll show you the other one in a minute. And just those two items selling, thinking about it, has brought me back all the money I spent on everything. Just on the two items. So one more item to pick from in here, and it's the McDonald's toys. Now, out of all the ones that could sell, I wouldn't have thought these would be them. I think I even said in my McDonald's video that I did that I don't think these will do very well. Well, they've had a little bit of interest. I got a load of watches on, a load of listings as soon as I listed them. And then this one has just sold, and these have only been listed for less than a week. So yeah, it's these, Mr. Men. And they went for £19.99 plus postage. That was the full asking price. And I have several more sets just like this. And a few that are actually better than this with more characters and more books. So, yeah. Hopefully the rest go for a similar price to this. The whole lot that I got, 80 quid is what I spent on all of them. And if all them sell for anything like that, even ballpark figure near to that, you know, 25% less even on the lot, that will more and send us into profit on everything so hopefully that happens but you just never know of ebay that could just be like a random one-off purchase and the rest sit there for weeks and weeks who knows who knows but anyway let's grab these they are bundle number five i think all the missing men are in here so i can probably is that it one book Yes, bundle five. That's it, little small parcel. So th there has been a bit of interest now in some of them. And, you know, it's going to take a while. I've said this before, but yeah, it'll take a while. You'll be seeing these boxes for a while. You'll be seeing me picking from these boxes for a while. But that is just the way it is. And I knew that when I bought them. And, do you know what I... It was worth it just for the look through. Trip down memory lane, bit of nostalgia. And I hope some of you guys got the same kind of feelings as I did when you were watching the video. And if you've not seen it, go and check it out. That's everything from in here. Let's go and get the stuff from downstairs. So the next item is this Mason Cash Tea Caddy Tea Jar, whatever you want to call it. £13.99 plus postage. It is just here. Not a bad price on this, considering it's just one single jar and there's no seal on it either. It's in good condition though, and it is Mason Cash. Some of the Mason Cash stuff can be all right. Next is this. This is going over to Germany on GSP. Went for £18.99 plus postage. It's just down here. Condition of this is good, but not perfect. But still managed to get that for it and i only paid 50p for it It was two for pound from a boot sale so not bad on that at all some of these wilton cake tins can do well i don't think i've ever actually bought one before i've seen a few out there but they've always been in such bad condition i don't think i've ever bought them the last few items are in the big shed let's go grab them so they're in the big shed yeah not touch this stuff yet this micro machine stuff if you're not seeing it go and watch one of the past videos and i actually put that video out yet i think that's my next one to come out so go and check that out it's a little what sold video and at the end we look at all of this stuff in a bit more detail 
good good one if you're into your vintage toys next is this emma bridge water mug i've got 18 pounds 75 plus postage on this i got this from emma bridge water as a replacement for one that wasn't very good so i think they sent me this replacement or did they send me a voucher there was a few issues and i got a voucher and i got a couple of replacement items i bought a load of stuff um for people at christmas time so you know kind of owes me nothing i guess this one and it's just over here now we have this same mug ourselves and i stupidly ended up uh, washing this up and I, I, so I took the stickers off and everything. I don't know how I managed to do it without realizing, but I did. And then I was like, "Hang on, where's that mug that I've that I've um, listed?" And I, I don't, I'd listed it at the time, and then I was, I was like, "Oh no!" So I mean, it doesn't make that much difference, right? But people are going to want the stickers because it kind of shows that it's new, right? If you've got the stickers on these mugs. So anyway. Yeah, so I unlisted it, relisted it again with the correct kind of description and everything. And the person who's bought it is actually the person who decorated this herself. She says that she works for Emma Bridgewater and like works for them, not worked for them, but works for them. And it's one of hers that she has decorated. She said, what's the initial on the, on the bottom? So I told her and yeah, that's odd that. I, I don't know. I don't think this is the case, but are some of these mugs that have certain initials on the bottom worth more than others? I don't think that is a thing. If it is, please do let me know. But I just thought that was really strange. And she said, oh, it's, you know, a bit of a strange message for you here, but I decorated that cup, I think. I'm like, how would you know, though? How would you know? Do certain artists, like, put their own little kind of flair onto them? I really don't know. I think I'll have to go and compare this to the one I've got inside and see if there's actually any noticeable difference between one to the next because the other one is not by that person wb especially somebody else so yeah do not know <laughs> bit of a odd one that but if anybody does know very interested to know if if it makes any difference the initial on the bottom and why would this person want one of her own mugs could she not have just kept one of her own mugs bought it herself or something at the time of doing it strange i think it's strange what do you think next is this i got five pounds 99 plus postage on this and it is just over here i think not much into it like pound pound 50 at the very most very most probably much less next to these two heart shaped plates got 12 pounds plus postage on these these are in the top crate over there behind all this stuff so i'll have to move them plus the last thing is also i think it's even the bottom or well, the second from bottom crate so i will grab that as well in a second put this tea set that i've just photographed in there oh that's actually there's one more item as well which i've just noticed almost forgot about this they've just paid this is one of the items that i said i hadn't paid yet and i thought they would and they have so 27 pounds plus postage on this and it's by a brand called l tremaine it's quite small right in there so you might not be able to make it out but that's the brand and it's quite a good brand i picked this up from a charity shop in the lake district only paid two pounds on it so we're making about 21 pounds profit all said and done so there's the plates and yeah it was the one underneath the plates is the horn seat it's all kind of dotted in here so i'll grab it so there it is it's only six cups a jug and the coffee pot i still managed to get that kind of money for it which is pretty good really i've got the same amount as that for a full set before so that's everything in the house i'm gonna grab some boxes now and get the stuff packaged up it might take a little while today because there's quite a few ceramic items but when we get that done and i'm going to show you guys some of the items that andy sold me for 10 quid it's actually the next day now we went out on like a really really long walk just after that last bit of the video and by the time i got home it was dark and i had stuff i needed to get done so yeah i thought i would conclude the video now with a little look at the well a few things the stuff that i got from a local reseller the mcdonald's stuff i'll turn you around so you can see this is all that is left from the mcdonald's stuff still to photograph i'm going to get all this done today this won't take me too long we've got a few multiples and everything is already all sorted out into the bundles we're gonna be selling them in so i don't need to do any of that i just need to 
Getting photographed, hopefully get a few on today, but I'll get them on through the week. There's a charity shop near where I dropped my every off, so I went in, I got these two heart-shaped plates, £1.50 each, and these little queen thimbles. I have no idea, I don't think I've ever purchased thimbles before to try and resell them, but with them being you know, to do with the queen, and only a pound for the three, I figured I would give them a go. Uh, the plates though do okay obviously like valentine's day this video probably this video will probably be out after valentine's day but valentine's day is just around the corner for me now on recording this and i all the heart plates i did have already i had quite a few like different ones have all sold so i figured i would pick these up 150 each they should go for about as long as i sell them pre valentine's day like 15 to 20 quid for the two should be able to do that. And then we've got these two Lego items here from lego.com originally. We got them as free gifts at some point in the past. Probably last Easter. It might even have been the Easter before. They've been sat in our like kind of playroom slash dining room for ages. Just sat there along with a couple of other sets actually as well, which the kids haven't touched yet. So they may end up on eBay as well. And some void fill for a pound a roll. I never find wallpaper anymore for as cheap as a pound a roll in the charity shops but i did today so i bought it all so this is all the video game stuff that i got mostly pc games and i've not even had a proper look through it really i had a quick flick through when he was there i picked a few things out and he was like you know what? if you do if you take the whole lot i'll do it for a tenner so i was like yeah can't argue with that that's a really good price so let's have a quick look see what we've got so that's everything and we've got mostly loose PC games here and I don't know about these because they may not have the serial numbers. Some of them do like have a serial number written on, some of them do say uh, no serial number included but most of them say nothing at all. I'll probably just bundle them all together and sell them like that and just say some may have keys, some may not, some need them, some don't and untested kind of thing and just sell them all like that. And there's a few though that I will sell separately. I'm going to go through it with you guys now. I'm just going to show you each disc. Some of them are going to be like covered up by labels, but I'm going to show you them quickly. And if there's anything here that you see that is particularly good, please let me know. And maybe I'll I'll sell that separately. But otherwise, I'm going to just stick them all together and probably won't ask for a lot. Maybe 20 quid or something. Is that too much? I don't know. See what we've got. I've not had a proper look through yet. So let's do that now. So DC-10, Rollercoaster Tycoon, and there's like three discs in there, I just had a look at that one. So we've got like expansion packs and stuff in there. Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, Duke Nukem Forever, Bioshock Infinite, Command and Conquer Kane Edition I think it says. Some kind of Formula 1 game. Dungeon Siege 2. Warhammer Dawn of War, Sim City, Sim City 2, Star Wars Battlefront, Sim City 3, sorry, Sim 3 even. I can't see what that says. Horizon, Empire Earth 2, Age of Empires 3, Caesar 3, Wings of Honor. Jungle Legend, Solar Empire, Fallout New Vegas, Sims 3, some kind of expansion, PC Gamer, Morrowind's Game of the Year Edition. I think I've sold that before actually, in a in the box brand new. I'm sure I have that one. Dragon Age Origins, Sim City 4, Company of Heroes 2, a load of Sim stuff, more Sim stuff. Age of Empires 2, that's a great game at the moment. I am playing it on Game Pass, basically the same game. It's just like slightly graphically improved and there's a few other adjustments to it. Good game. Age of Empires Collector's Edition, as you can see on this, it says no serial. So I'm guessing like that one, for instance, is not going to work at all. Need for Speed Underground, Command and Conquer, Kane Edition, Legoland game, Call of Duty Ghosts, Age of Empires Collector's Edition, Sims... Mountain Blade, never Command & Conquer, I think that's Command & Conquer 4. I don't remember there being a Command & Conquer 4. Tiberium Twilight, I have never heard of that or played it. 
I don't even I don't think I knew that even existed. More Sims, Fallout, Viva Pinata. So these are all PC games. Call of Duty Infinite War. Civilization. Morrowind, Civilization. Need for Speed, Most Wanted. Crane Simulator. Crane Simulator 2009. I didn't know that was a thing. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh, Age of Empires. Sim City. Theme Hospital. Another great game. Assassin's Creed 2. Let's put these over. Draken Sang. Football Manager 2013. Alice Madness Returns. Another Sim thing, Morrowind, Titanfall, Dawn of War, Warhammer, Sims 3, more Sims, Medieval Total War, and Flight Simulator. So if you saw anything then that was slightly valuable at all, let me know and I probably will pull it out and try and sell it separately, but otherwise I'm going to just do the whole lot together. And we've got some Skylanders here, this is an Xbox 360 wired portal. I think that's from, is it Disney Infinity? And just three little characters. I don't think there's any money in these. Maybe a little bit in the Spyro, a little bit, but, but not much really. And we've got an Atari little uh, Jack Pacific, I think it is. Yeah, Jack Pacific 2002, so it's actually now vintage. A vintage, vintage Atari controller game system thing. And yeah, I don't I don't know. It feels, it feels to me like, the controller doesn't have as much movement as it should, but maybe that's how the Ataris were. I never actually had an Atari as a kid. But maybe, I don't know. I'm going to give that a test. It looks pretty clean condition and everything, so hopefully it does work and there's a little bit of money in it. A couple of Skylanders this here. Skylanders Swap Force and Skylanders something or whatever, Giants. Uh, they'll come in handy when I get more Skylanders in the future when I'm doing my bundles and that, so I'll probably keep them for that. And another Skylanders game here as well and these ones as well i've not saved these back because they're good or anything they're just uh, box these ones unlike the others uh prey digger simulator mass effect more sim stuff call of duty 4 call of duty black ops and section 8 and then the best thing i think is probably this or the best thing i know about anyway is, is this super mario bros on the wii i think these usually go for about a tenner last time i knew like this just loose discs so yeah not too bad i've also got this controller as well it's like a nintendo original style controller and it does say on here nintendo classic mini controller but i don't think it is an official one it would say nintendo on the front right and also check this out this was part of that bundle too it was just included and it's from january 2020 so it is 23 years old and I enjoyed just having a, a look through. I used to have a massive, massive collection of video game magazines. I sold them off a few years back. I probably should have kept hold of them. I had like a whole collection of various ones. I had like every issue of several different ones spanning like a decade. I had two massive bookcases full of them. But when I bought my first house... They just couldn't, you know, I had no room for them, so they, they had to go. So I sold them off slowly but surely. They went. I love looking at all this stuff. I mean, just look how vintage everything is now. God, Resident Evil Code Veronica, that was one of my favourite games ever. I think that's probably my favourite Resident Evil game out of the lot. I really enjoyed Code Veronica. Because when it came out on the Dreamcast, I, and sorry for anybody who really doesn't care about this kind of stuff, but when it came out on the Dreamcast, it was just so good looking. I know you look at that now and you think, what are you talking about? But it, it really was. that When it came out, it just looked so good on the Dreamcast compared to anything else that had come before it. But yeah, just look at this. Look how vintage all this is <laughs> look netscape online check out golden eye yeah check that out it's not the best quality poster i've ever seen in my life but it's very cool 
So I'm gonna leave this one there. My plan for the day is to just get all this McDonald's stuff done now. And that's basically it. I might do a bit of video editing as well. I'm gonna do my best to try and get two videos out a week, but how long I can keep that up for, I don't know. Because it's just, you know, when you're doing a video, it takes the time from the reselling. When you're doing the reselling, it takes the time from the video. There's only so much time I can spend doing everything. And I'm gonna try my best to keep it going for as long as I can, but you know, I'll probably end up going back down to that one video a week, but yeah, I don't know. We will see with shorts, YouTube shorts. I might be start doing more kind of mini series of YouTube shorts, or maybe just some generally shorter videos about specific topics. But if you have any questions, any topics you would like me to cover in these videos, please let me know if there's specific things about reselling that you're not sure about, maybe you're new to it and you have some questions, uh, ask and maybe I'll do a video just on specific things. I'll do a few videos like that or maybe I'll do one video with like a load of different things in it, that kind of thing. Yeah, let me know if there's ever any question, nothing's too big or too small. So that's it for now, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.